Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is June 13th, 2019, and this is our episode number 463. We are coming back to Porto Seguro, which is an insurance company, and we did one first episode on it, number 462, check it out. And today we're essentially continuing to learn a bit more about Porto Seguro. Always we should understand why we are moving on or sticking around with an analysis. And the reason we are sticking around here is that we found a company with no debt, a company that has shown profits over the last two years, positive free cash flow. And we want to understand uh, a little bit about the relationship between liabilities and equity in insurance companies so we can uh, just continue to gather these numbers here uh, for Porto Seguro and develop a certain vocabulary, a certain culture ourselves. I will simply insert more rules here just for ease. Add some more here. Let me see. If we start by 2009, we will end up with 10 years worth of information so let me see all right that should be okay yes okay just i'm just doing housekeeping things here Average of 10 years, we will get to this, maybe. Okay. So now it's a, you know, it's highly manual work and work that very few people in their right minds do as videos. Because it's, you know, to, to people who are like not into it, yeah, it's considered boring, I guess. What is not boring here is what happens in our minds while we do this. You know, we go through these numbers and our brains are processing things in a way that if you just look at a table with these numbers, you would never do. Cool. So uh, this is 2016, as you can see. We get to the consolidated numbers here. So page 14, yes. So here their net equity was seven billion and one million. Let me get this here. Okay. We can also copy the number from 2015, so 6436. And we can start to, con to think about the trajectory here. If you're not familiar with the inflation in Brazil, you know, the, the rising number here does not mean a, a true rise in net equity. And actually, probably uh, their true net equity has decreased since 2015. All right. So now we take a look at uh, liabilities. So current liabilities, 14,305 plus 40,50. So 18,355. And for 2015, 23,189 plus, plus 3,357. Oops, what did, did I do there? I don't know. I don't know how, how I did that. Oh, okay. Let me just, is these number, this number is particularly striking here, so let me make sure it's correct. No, it's not. I made a mistake here. Let me do this again. 
for 2016-14-305 plus 40-50. So 18-355. That's right. And for 2015, it would be 13-397 plus 3357. Okay, 1674. It was wrong. So with if you're a complete beginner, like with time you will see that it's highly unlikely that a company of this size, an insurance company, their liabilities drop year over year by 30% like it seemed like it did. It was just a mistake of mine. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, debt. <coughs> yeah, they don't have like loans per se. They have this different thing called uh, debitos de operações de seguro e seguro, which we mentioned. In the last one, I will kind of ignore it for now. If if it ever comes to a decision of actually investing in the company, it's it's a it would be very fundamental to understand that a little bit, a little bit better. All right, results. So revenues: 2016, 16 billion 135. In 2015, 15547. 457. Okay. One thing I kind of skipped here is actually to the ratios. So it's interesting to see uh, that in 2015, liabilities to equity was well, a little under 20% less than it is today. Let's look at current ratio too. I forgot. Current ratio will be current assets. So in Portuguese, Achio, full lunch, 19,135 divided by current liabilities, passivo, full lunch, 14,305. So one three three seven. Initially, I look at these as a division. So assets divided by liabilities. Sometimes it's very rare, but it historically uh, it has happened. The company is on sale for less than the difference, the subtraction of. Assets by liabilities, meaning like they have money in their pocket that is more than the company is being sold for. This is, you know, it's not exactly like a net net situation. Uh, it's more extreme than a net net, as I would say. Uh, but when that happens, I mean, unless the company is just burning this cash and adamant to go like to just destroy itself, that's, I mean, uh. A dream situation to invest. So 1.34 here, and let's do 2015. Current assets 17.934 divided by current liabilities 13.397. Again, 1.34 here. Okay. So let's move to more results. So profits, 911 for 2016, 998 for 2015. Cool. And from these two, finally, uh, free cash flow. Free cash flow will be operating cash flow plus investment cash flow. So five hundred and twenty 
plus a negative 4, 4, 3. So minus 4, 4, 3, 7, 7. So very striking how free cash flow is so much lower than all the other stated results here. 520, I'm just making sure, yes. So this could be many things. So, uh, of course, the stock market uh, went through a lot of um, uh, when the prices just dropped, you know. Uh, so uh, I'm just looking here. Yeah, so you see, like maybe you know their own investments lost value, and that was it. That was that. All right, so for 2015, so uh, operating cash flow 1042, as you can see here, and investment cash flow minus 457. So 585. Okay, so we will not, there's nothing to judge from these numbers yet. You know, there's nothing particularly striking. We are just gathering this information so I'm not sure I may just do it myself and talk about that or I may just do it in videos I just want to keep keep these videos relatively short so definitely our next one will still be about Port Seguro as we can see here liabilities to equity has hovered around 2.6 to 3 so that's just you know more information and we'll see we'll see uh, what we can uh, conclude from this but without any hurry we don't need to hurry up here thank you very much if you're still here and you're not a subscriber please consider becoming a subscriber by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button if you have any questions suggestions criticism and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis as they happen with uh, respectable frequency please leave a comment in the video and I'll write you back as soon as I'm able to meanwhile I hope you have a beautiful day and see you next time